What's everybody? It's Jane here from Thrill Source, and I'm here today at Clementon Park in Splash World and Clementon, New Jersey. I'm the first. We are the first people in the park here today. We're heading back to Hellcat. I actually recorded a tour and review and review of the park in May of this year, but Hellcat was not operating on that date, so I didn't end up posting the review. But Hellcat is open today. We did see a test, so we're heading back there, and hopefully we will get to ride. I mean, hell, Wildcat, I mean, Hellcat, I mean, Wildcat Hershey, I mean, Wild Mouse, I mean, Hell. That's it. Let's see if they run the train anytime soon again. They were repairing um, a brake, I think. So. But they just turned the left motor back on, so hopefully they'll get things moving. We just got off of Hellcat, which is the Ooh. park's uh, SNS wooden coaster designed by Alan Schilke. It was and good. I actually really liked it, except yeah. for the bottom of the first drop, which had some really bad jackhammering. But a lot of the coaster actually had new track on it, especially during the Helix. So that made the uh, ride much better. We rode in the front. I'm gonna go try in the back. Um, yeah, good ride, except for the trim brakes and the uh, bottom of the first drop, but good ride. I just came off ride number two on Hellcat. Um, I sat in the back row. I was on the first train of the day, in the front row, on the second train of the day, in the back row. And that is definitely one of the roughest wooden coasters I've ever experienced. However, the airtime was actually really good in the back and um, I mean, parts of the ride were actually very smooth in the back. Parts of the ride were terrible in the back. But honestly, it wasn't really that bad. Um, it might be the roughest wooden coach I've ever been on, but it's definitely got a, uh, an interesting layout and a lot of airtime, which makes up for that roughness. So I recommend trying it out in the back. However, for repeat rides, I would not do it in the back. I didn't get a headache though, which is, which is, which is good, I guess. Besides Hellcat, you've got a log flume here, King Neptune's Revenge. Um, it's a decent log flume. It goes over the lake right over there. And um, it's pretty good. It's definitely a must ride when you're here at the park. Uh, I'm not going to ride it today because it's not really hot enough. Um, and then you got the carousel, just your standard carousel. You've got the uh, Sea Dragon. You got a wave swinger, normal wave swinger. Um, Ferris wheel, some kitty flat rides. Or a really good Larson drop tower and then the main draw here is a water park but um, it's just a decent water park honestly uh, the main draw for me here is definitely Hellcat it is one of the best coasters in New Jersey um, even though it is quite rough and um, if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff I would not recommend riding but it, it is a really really fun wooden roller coaster it's got some really good air time I do recommend riding in the front and the back but the back is very rough. So we've got my brother Rishi here and he's going to do a water park review at Clementon Park because we're not doing the water park today. So what did you think of the Dropbox slides? Oh I love them. They're great. Yeah. I love the suspense when you're just up there and they're counting down and like the floor. You know it's just it's great. But this one especially wasn't as good as the other ones like at Dorney and like other parks. What but do you think? What do you think of the mat racer slides? Uh, racing. Oh, those were fun. Yeah, I like um, those a lot. Uh, you think that they would hurt, but they don't actually. It's like the mat, if you don't feel anything. And yeah, and then the other slides are pretty nice. The um, racing tube slides? Yeah, I just would have wished that the big tube one had like bigger drops or something. Yeah, it, it's very slow. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was, it is weird how there's just a house there, though. Now, what do you think of the uh, Larson Looper Ring of Fire, Larry Larson's death machine? This is the only one that I've been on, but I mean, it's okay. It's not the, the like, it's not that great. I mean, I, I and then what do you think of the Larson Drop Tower here? This is a good drop tower, yeah. And good view of the park, the small park. Okay. It's drop. not New Jersey's best drop tower, though. No. What, what, oh yeah, um, Zoom and Charo. And the one on Mori's, I like the one on Mori's. That's another Larson one. So here we go. It's a very short drop tower, but it's very fun. Yeah. You wanna ride it? Yes! 
Let's go. Right. Commenton is a park that um, a lot of enthusiast groups and, and forums and such, it gets a lot of crap. But it's very clean, it's very nice. I don't understand what people say about the flying hell. It's the same that you would see at a Six Flags park. It really isn't that bad. Um, the park, I mean, I, I think Premier is, 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 is doing a good job here. Um, Hellcat, well, it is pretty rough. There is definitely new track on there, and I wish I could uh, take some pictures of it, but it, it, it's impossible. Because yeah, you can only see it while you're in the front seat of the coaster. But there is definitely some new track on there. Um, they are definitely working on it. The staff is, 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 is pretty good. Um, uh, this park just gets uh, an undeserved rat. rat. But I, I do recommend everybody, if you're in the Philadelphia area or whatever, come and check it out because it is a nice park. And um, that concludes my review and tour of Clementon Park here in Clementon, New Jersey. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Thrill Source. Please like this video. Watch some of our other videos. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.